Yo! What's up, Internet? I'm Matt Gump from Hops.com, and this is a 2018 Arbor Psycho Twin Snowboard. This is a Partech design for beginner to advanced level riders um, that features a three-year warranty. Uh, this is actually a really fun deck. And uh, surprisingly enough, it actually rides like a twin-shaped board, uh, which is pretty cool because it's a non-asymmetrical twin style deck. So outside of those contact points, the board is actually going to feature a little bit uh, longer and wider nose and a little bit shorter tail. Um, but along with that, again, uh, inside those contact points, the socket radiuses are centered and the stance is centered. So when you look down, it definitely looks like a directional style deck, but it's not going to feel like it. Uh, so when you ride it this way and this way, it's going to be the same, even though it doesn't look that way at all. Uh, the Zygo Twin, as you, as you know, uh, definitely stands out a lot. When you're on hill with this thing, People are like, what the heck is that thing? Um, it's a blast to ride. It's a great park gymming deck. You can still ride it, of course, um, uh, on jumps. And it's going to be just a little bit softer than your average board. Um, one thing that I do love about the Zygo Twin, though, is that it's uh, a parabolic camera style board. So when you do set the board on flat ground, it's going to have a nice little arc to it. It's going to be a little bit more stable. Uh, that pop zone for that ollie is going to be right at the end contact point, which is good. Uh, but there's one other thing you should know. Outside of that contact point on that tail, um, the, the tails, this section of the tail is actually going to be quite a bit softer than like this section of the tail. It just seems like there's a really unique like, kind of flex zone right here on that contact point. So keep that in mind when you're doing tail presses. Um, and it also has a, a, kind of these little uprise fenders on the nose and tail's contact points as well. So those, uh, the board actually kind of lifts up a little bit so it's less likely to catch um, those contact points when you're ripping around on groomers. Um, inside is a, a pretty cool cord. It's a, a popular wood cord. Tip to tail, rail to rail. It's soft, um, it's snappy, and of course it has a biax glass on top and a biax glass on bottom, which gives the board a very consistent style feel. There's an extruded base. It's non die cut, so there's not going to have there's not going to be any die cuts popping out. The board is basically meant for jibbing around a lot and being in the park. Uh, sometimes you know park riders tend to like pop those die cuts out. They don't have that in this, which is good. Uh, and again, it's extruded, so it's going to be nice and hard. And it's been factory waxed by Wend Wax Works. And then lastly is that 360 wrap standard steel edge that features actually two side cut radiuses. A smaller side cut radius that's actually in between your feet and a larger one that hits both on the nose and on the tail. So you can take this board at five, fast speeds and slow speeds and do big, huge crossover carves or small cross under carves. And along, and along with that um, is going to be grip tech edges extra contact points where your bindings rest both on the nose or on the heel side edge and the toe side edge um, that help to grip down on firm snow. Um, this Zygo Twin is a real fun deck to ride. It's Again, it can be quite a bit softer about a flex rating with three, um, but it, it, it does have camber, so it has good ollie pop to it. Uh, make sure to check out the link below in uh, the, uh, the title or the, the description of uh, this video and check out this board and all the other uh, Arbor boards that we have. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment or a question. Let me know if you've ridden this thing and if you have, what you thought of it. Hopefully, I'll see you guys on snow. And again, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so already, make sure to do that right now. Peace.